Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elisa Nett, for those of you who don't know me. And in today's video, we're going to do a Q&A answering your questions that you've asked me about Connecticut College, the school that I attend. And today I have a special friend with me named Khadija. And um, she's basically going to answer the questions that are about international students. So do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. So uh, my name is Khadija. I'm an international student from Pakistan. Um, I'm an economics major and a government minor. Could be a finance minor, honestly, too. But um, <laughs> so on campus, I am part of the International Student Association, Muslim Student Association. I'm a floor governor on campus. And um, I used to work with the Alumni Center last year. So yeah. So to introduce myself, I'm actually an undeclared major, like I'm just like taking random classes right now, but I am involved in the Unity House, which is like Black Student Union, Las Voces Unidas, which is another club for Hispanics. And I work in the chapel, so the Office of Religious and Spiritual Programs, and I'm also part of their clubs as well. Okay, so before we start, we just wanna add a little disclaimer to this video. Um, everything that we're about to say is just about our experience. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you're going to come into the school and experience the same thing that we experience. And if we're giving you any type of information, yeah, we might not be right. Yeah, that's not the official information. That's just we know from our experience and research. So still email the college for like official information. <laughs> so the first question is, uh, the, is the application process entirely need blind for internationals? Do you know what need blind is? I've never heard of that. <laughs> okay, so no so okay, let me educate you, my friend. Okay, okay. So need blind and need aware is like so when the admission committee is reviewing your application, they consider if if your finances are going to be one factor in you attending. So for instance, if somebody says they can pay a full tuition and somebody says they can pay only half the college tuition, so the person who says they can pay the full college tuition has obviously better chances than the one who says. Right, so that's that's called need aware. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. And for need blind colleges, like Harvard is need blind college. For them, it doesn't matter what you can pay or not. If you get in, you get in. So no, Khan is not a need blind college. It's a need aware college for both nationals and internationals. And most colleges are need aware. So okay. so the next question is, if I wanted to switch from humanities to a science major, what am I required to submit? Um. It's a liberal arts college, so you're not required to submit anything. Um, you're not like like you mentioned. You know, we have we are sophomores and we haven't declared our majors, so you're good to go. Like you can choose whatever you want. You can take a combination of different classes because mm -hmm. I know like you take science classes and you take humanities. Yeah, I've taken classes like all around the rainbow because yeah. like they really encourage you to like explore your freshman year. And if you want to switch majors, it's really not a hassle and it's not a big deal. So you could do that flexibly. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. that, that shouldn't be an issue, especially in a liberal arts college like Khan. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have another international student question. So how are international assessed if standardized tests, higher GPA, and all these statistical measures are optional? Higher GPA is not optional. No, yeah. GPA is not <laughs> GPA optional. is not, but, but I understand what you're saying because SATs are optional for internationals and for most colleges it's not. Mm -hmm. um, so when I applied, I think in the Common App, it just asks you what your general college essay is and there is no supplement question. So you can give an optional interview. That is something most students don't know about. I gave an optional interview. You can sign up for that. Did you submit your SAT first? I didn't. <laughs> Me neither. Like, so, if, I, yeah. if I submitted my SAT scores, I wouldn't be here. Like, yeah. all honest. Yeah. No, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I think that's a huge plus for Gone. Yeah, it really yeah. is. It saved my life, honestly. Yeah. Um, is the financial form still required? I'm legit confused. Um, I don't know what which financial form they're talking about, but... Um, I mean, I filled the CSS form, mm -hmm, and the, there is one additional form for internationals. I don't remember the name of it, but it's really small. But it's mainly CSS, and that is where they assess your need. Um, what did you fill? The CSS profile. Yeah, yeah I filled that out. It's required. Yeah. How is the food on campus? Oh, I love food. I'm huge mm -hmm. on food. Akan, yeah. Akan is actually good. 
Mm. Like, I think it's good because I'm not a picky eater. Like, I literally eat everything and think everything's good. So, <laughs> when people are like, how was the food at Harris today? Yeah. Like, how was this? I was like, girl, that was mm, that was so good. Mm -hmm. And then they try it and it's like, yeah, that's I'm me. I'm never going to ask you again. Like, this is actually yeah. nasty. Like, to be all honest, in my freshman year, I didn't like the food. But I think it also was because I'm an international student. So, I'm from Pakistan. And um, so South Asians love spices. And you cannot find that in Harris. Everything is bland. Oh, Harris so, is the dining hall. Harris, yeah, sorry. Harris is the main yeah. dining hall, sorry. But I think in terms of for like college food, the food is good. Like, yeah. I mean, it's a buffet style. It's it's not bad. For mm -hmm. college, it's fine. And you always have fries as a backup. Yeah, and you can, mm -hmm. and there are always some Harris hacks that we all come up with. So there's there's always a way around it. But yeah, I think the food is all right. I mean, it's good for a college. It's definitely not as good as... Um, okay, this one's a more generic question. What was your freshman year experience? Okay, I'll go first. Okay, well, we're sophomores first, first of all. Can you imagine that? Yeah, no, like okay. freshman year really flew by. Like, yeah. it literally zoomed by. And freshman year was a little hard for me uh -huh. because I live very close to the school. So instead of like being out there and meeting people... Yeah. Like I was intimidated and I would just always go home and yeah, I had I think that, in that In those terms, we had the opposite experience. We literally <laughs> had the opposite. Like homegirl yeah. hasn't seen her parents in like the longest and yeah. I'm at my house like every weekend. Like, yeah. hi mom. <laughs> so for me, it was easy um, at the time, but in mm -hmm. the long run, like it took me a little bit more time to make friends and to like find people who I could like do homework with and eat with and etc. So, yeah. But I'm good now. Um, my freshman year experience, like she said, I'm an international student, so I didn't have the liberty to go home for holidays, but that sort of <clears throat> made it good for me because I had to put myself out there and I had to meet people and um, that's one of the good things I like about Gaon because it's such a small school, so everybody's like, it's like your own little family. Yeah. Are there boys in this school? Oh, are there <laughs> <laughs> no. Are there? No, there are no, no, no we boys. Do be, okay, the question. Sorry, but the question was: Are there cute boys in school? Um. Okay, we Wait, do have. What? <laughs> what was the question? Are there cute boys in this school? I'm gonna let you answer that. I'm gonna let me answer that. Um. I mean, there are definitely boys on campus. We do have a very weird gender ratio. Not weird, but like we have, I think, 60% females and 40% males. So it's not um, equal. But um, we have boys and that's all I have to say. Me too. <laughs> yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Okay. Since the number of international students is so low, how does that affect your experience? Hmm. So that's a legit question. Um, so the number of international students is low in most liberal art colleges or NESCACs like gone. But um, I think one thing that I will say what sort of affected my decision why I came here was even though that the number is low, um, the international students are like very active on campus like they have a huge impact on campus like you'll see them a lot active mm -hmm. you'll see them in a lot of leadership positions and all that um and the good thing is because they're so small so we have like a little family of ours just for international yeah. most of the um friends that i have here are international yeah. like literally like 98 point whatever percent are all international students because like once you become because we're friends, amazing. yeah, honestly, <laughs> once you become friends with an international, it's like you're friends with the whole community because it's just yeah. like that. True. Since Khan does not have a Greek life, how is the social life? You know, do you know what Greek life is? Oh my God, she's she's like <laughs> asking me like I'm the slowest person. <laughs> no, and I actually don't know any. Of, what what even is a Greek? Okay, life? what do you think Greek life can be? Okay, I'm not okay, gonna. Okay, no wait, it's like the movies. That's, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. So, so Greek life is basically having frats and sororities. So it oh, is like the movies. I knew that. You didn't. <laughs> but, um, no, she did. So um, so we, we don't have a Greek life. We don't have frats and sororities. Um, but I think we do have some off-campus housing, which sort of acts as a frat or sorority. Not exactly. Yeah, that's where the parties happen. Yeah, so it's like, so mainly like athletes live there, upperclassmen live there, and they host parties at times. Khan has a lot of events all the time. Yeah. So there's like a lot of parties that you can go to. And like, once you find your group of friends, like you could always have a good time. 
yeah. I feel like you make the school lit. So that was the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys found these tips helpful. And if you guys have any more questions, again, like feel free to comment them below. We might make a part two video. We might. And if yeah. you guys, you actually don't know, but Khadija has her own YouTube channel. I don't. <laughs> I don't. No, she not, does. Not it just has no videos. But I mean, I'm telling you, she has. It's a not even a channel yet. Maybe it's something in my mind. No, she's going to be um a con college vlogger. So if you're interested in coming to the school, subscribe to her channel. It's going to be no It's going to be It's going to be linked in the description okay. box. So you go ahead and click. So yeah, subscribe to my channel and subscribe to Khadija's channel. I don't have a channel yet. Anything else you want to say? No. Thank you for having me, but I don't have a channel yet. That's But cute. this was fun. Thank you. Yeah. Like this isn't a talk show. You don't have to say thank you. I'm sorry. I don't know how vlogging works, okay? This is my first time. Check her out, guys. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye.